Hello you guys, this is Charmaine. I'm here to do another video. And this video is called, it's a tag. And it's a natural hair tag. And I'm going to go ahead and go with the questions. And I got this from, I think it was Long Hair Don't Care. Long Hair Don't Care LLC tag. Okay, let me go ahead and get started. Where am I from? I'm sorry, I'm holding my tablet, so I might be moving around a little bit. I am from a little town in, in Ohio, not too far from Cleveland and Cincinnati. I went to Cincinnati for um, college for one semester, so I'm probably about three hours away from Cincinnati. Um, how is the natural hair scene? Uh, I'm just now noticing the natural hair scene a lot. Um, now, a lot of people are, they have a lot of locks, um, natural locks and twisties and stuff like that, but the TWAs. Um, I just now noticing because I have a TWA, so before I wasn't paying attention. And to tell you the truth, I was wondering, like, why was everybody cutting their hair and stuff? Why are people cutting their hair? Why would they want their hair so, you know, to be natural? Because I was not educated about it. And after I started watching YouTube, I love the way the natural hair look and how it's thick and everything. I love the way it looks. So that's what made me decide to go natural. So, um, I really was not educated. Like, a lot of people, this one lady on a, um... A lady I know, I was working with her, and I looked on her um, Facebook page. I said, oh, my gosh, she cut all her hair off. I mean, she cut it, like, down to, like, how I cut my my hair down to. I was like, what is wrong with her? Is something wrong with her? I thought something was wrong with her because she cut all her hair off. Her hair was pretty, really long like mine's was, and she cut it. And now I'm educated about it, and now I know why she cut it, because she wants to be full and pretty and healthy. So um, before, I was I thinking people was crazy for cutting all their hair off, and I went on ahead and did my, cut mine off. Um, why did I go natural? Because I want my hair to be full and healthy. And I just wanted, I never had been natural before, so I'd like to see how my my real texture is. Um, how long have I been natural? I have been natural for three months now. I don't remember that date. I know it's the 21st of... I wrote everything down because I don't want to make a, um... It, I, I transitioned from May to August. And I BC'd on August the 18th. And then I, um... And I got tapered on the 21st. So basically, I'm going to say the 21st because I um, cut it myself on the 18th. But then I really got it tapered and, and with the um, clippers on the 21st of August, 2012 of this year. So um, that's when I'll be seen. And let me see. The next question is, um, how did friends and family react to your big chop? My mother couldn't stand my hair. She was like, why did you cut all your hair off? My grandmother cannot stand my hair. A lot of people, like people on Facebook and um, a lot of other friends and family would say they liked it. It, 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 fits my, it fits my face. They like it. So um, my mother, she's like, my hair is so dry. I'm like, well, that's what happens when you have natural, sorry, natural hair. Your hair is not silky and shiny like you do when you have a relaxer. So she can't stand it because it looks so dry to her. My grandmother, um, she cracked me up. She was like, Charmaine, how do you get your hair like that? I'm like, like what? I'm thinking like she's going to say like my natural curls that I have or whatever. Sometimes, right now my hair looks kind of dry because I really didn't put much in it. But my grandmother was like, how did you get your hair like that? I'm like, like what, Granny? Like, nappy like that. I'm like, really? <laughs> so uh, I thought she was going to tell me that she see my curls popping. <laughs> but no, she said, how did I get nappy like that? So um, they, she don't like it. She really don't like it. And she don't like my hair short either. So that's my grandmother. Um, let me see. And I was telling my grandma, I was like, my granny, you should go natural because your hair, she's got pretty hair too. And she would have pretty hair without relaxers. And so I told her she should go natural because her, she's getting older in age and her hair is getting thin. So I was telling her how if you go natural, your hair would be thicker. But she ain't trying to hear that. <laughs> let me see. Um, what is the, what is my hair, my favorite hair product? My favorite hair product right now is Kinky Curly Custard. My hair looks so much better with Kinky Curly Custard, but I don't wear it today because I don't like to wear it every day because it's expensive. The custard and the, um, the, um, not today, leave-in conditioner. I love it, and I um, love the way it um, does my hair. It keeps it, it's not, it don't keep it soft, but it shines and it, and it pops, it brings out my natural curls. So I like the Kinky Curly Custard and the not today, but I didn't wear it today because it's too expensive and I just wear it sometimes. Um... Let me see. What is your hair texture? I don't know. If anybody can tell me what they think my hair texture is, please let me know. I think it's a 4B maybe. I can just let me show you how close I can get to it. This this is how it looks. It's dry. 
And sometimes I can see, I can pull out some curls. See that little little thing right there? It, come, it goes right back. <laughs> I have a couple of these all throughout my hair, but all my hair is not like that. So um, let me see what else is up here I can show. I don't know what texture this is. If anybody can tell me what texture this is, I would greatly appreciate it. If you can tell me, because I'm not sure. Um, and then I tried to put some little twists back there. I just took them out, so I don't know how they look back there. But I know that I see the video. I twist it back just to see how it look and see how it was long enough to have twisties. So let me show that to you. So that's my back of my hair. I'm going to give you another view to the top of my hair. My teeny weeny fro. I love my hair. Right, right now, I see, like I said, it's dry because I really didn't do nothing to it. I can't remember what I put in my hair today. I was going to put that down so I can just, cause I'm trying to journalize my hair and the growth. Um, and I forgot what it was called. <sighs> Mo I think it's Shea Moisture. I put that in my hair and just some water and some oil. I love oil. That's what I put in my hair today. So, that was the end of the question. Just eight questions, and I will leave the questions um, at the end of this video. I will um, put it in the description bar. And if you would like, go ahead and answer these questions. I would love to hear your feedback and your natural journey. Oh, I said, how, and also, I, I skipped the question. It says, um, how long did I go, how, did, how long did I transition from, oh, I see it there, from May to, um, let me see, from May to August. And like I said, that was just a couple, couple of months because I was tired of my hair. It was just so thin at the bottom and then it was so thick at the top. And I was trying to do little twist outs. You can see my videos. If you can take a look at a couple of my videos, transition videos, it was, a, my hair was a hot mess and I did not like it. It was just too straight at the end and too thick at the at the top and it was just so frizzy so that's the reason why i just cut it all off myself um and i was like oh my goodness i'm cutting my hair off and my hair can't wait onto my shoulders if you i'm also gonna put that in the description bar my um my bc my big chop video and my hair like it was before i did my big chop all right well that's it um today if you please like my video and subscribe subscribe to my channel and um let me know if you can tell me what texture my hair is because i really don't know what it is and that's all for today. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.